Well, here we are again. Still more people to murder. That's right. You know, it's occurred to me as well that I wasn't given a spare poison. It's more likely that she had intended for me to use one poison for this man here and one poison for uh, the woman, the Shatter Shield. So, it's likely that I've already failed the um, optional part of this contract. Oh well, even if so, still continue. Is there someone walking around? Down here? I'm sure I heard footsteps. Must not have been. Oh well. It's a long way to go. Ah, Windhelm. Wonderful. Now just to find Shatter Shield's place. I assume she's likely to be inside right somewhere. Keep your distance. Okay, what's happened here? Another girl killed. Okay. This is Susanna from Candlehearth Hall. Hmm. Served me a drink just a few nights ago, but I can't say I knew her. Another? What do you mean? Susanna's the third. It's always the same. Young girl, killed at night, body torn up. Okay. And they are being investigated, I assume. We are stretched thin as it is with the war. I see. Nobody has the time to spend on this. Not pleasant, but it's the truth. Uh, I sense a quest coming on. If you want to help, ask some of these gawkers if they saw anything useful. Okay. I'm going to examine the body before the rats can get to it. Are you sure, uh... Grimvar safe, but these are dangerous times. It's your job? When Grimbar asks me why women are being killed around the city, I don't even know what to say to him. Okay. Did you see what Sorry. happened? Sorry. I thought I saw a fellow running away, but didn't get a good look at him. Of course. Of course. And you, woman? Another one. Terrible. Uh, did you see? I heard a scream and came running, but she was already... like this when I got here. Okay, well, and you? Got to thinking, maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Probably. Uh, no, sorry. But I did notice that her coin purse was still intact, so whoever did this wasn't after gold. I'm going to keep preparing the body, if you'll excuse me. Uh-huh. Well, keep your hands off the coin purse while you prepare the body, if you don't mind. Yeah, they didn't see anything. South of here, and west of the road, lies Kronvanger Cave. Okay. Stay away from that cursed place, and the vampires that call it home. Well, that's a direct invitation for me to go there and kill the vampires and take their stuff. Just like always, nobody saw anything useful. That's right. The bastards escaped again. Oh, well. Yeah, I can, uh, I can keep asking around if you like. Look, friend. If you think you can do better than the Legion of Guards, be my guest. You'll need to talk to your life, though. We can't just let anyone go around claiming to be on official business. If he's willing, then we'll talk. Ah, reasonable. Reasonable. Bit insensitive with the whole Legion of God comment after you just said that the Legion is spread thin with the war. Seems like a bit of a contradiction, if you ask me. I'm trying to say I can't do better than a... Uh, just a few seconds. Incredibly busy body of brutes. Little there. Let's see. What time is it? It's possible they will be asleep by now. There's no back way in, I suppose. Do you ever move? Or oh, no. 
Not sure. Let's see. Here it is. Oh, okay. Now surely, when I re-equip it, it will be poisoned, still? It's difficult to tell. We'll assume that it is poisoned, though. It's not even locked. Feel like I've been in here before. Have I robbed you people? I may have. By the fire, hey? Bad shot, if you uh, ask me. Take your key, honey nut treat, sure. Ooh, a sneaky one, are you? Were you? Oh. Maybe I haven't been here before. It's mine now, though. Decent, pretty decent amount of loot off of her as she sleeps. I'll need this to recover what I don't make from the optional part of the quest. She'll be quite surprised, I suppose, when she comes out for breakfast to see this. Interesting pose. I suppose some might find it a bit odd that I'm so calm about these things. I don't know. I've seen enough murder, I suppose, to not get too riled up about it. Right, well, I'm out of here. Before I return to the Dark Brotherhood, though, I believe I will make my way to Iverstead to complete that contract for... Uh, I don't remember his name. The one with the turban. I had a bad feeling for a moment. The guards saw me and started running. No nothing guards. There's someone here by the name of Narfi. I'm supposed to kill. So soon enough I will have the guards on me, I suppose. Ah, oh, it is asleep. Okay. Too difficult. Seems like a beggar. Um, do I have any other good poisons? So possibly he will die in one shot? I don't think so. I think that I've 
stored all of my poisons. I have a cure poison. Which is the opposite of what I want to do. A magica poison. I doubt he has much magica at his disposal. Could tip my arrow and skooma. Give him a good time before he dies. Well. Perhaps we just go with the strong lightning spell. And hope no one notices. Ah, that seemed to do the business. No one is the wiser, either. So, now it's back to the Dark Brotherhood. No one coming after me? Good. Amazing. Ah, uh, I will talk to you soon. Nazir is is his name. I just remembered as I came in here. Nazir. Fine. Where are you? Do you have any other random miscreants for me to murder? I'm up for it. Hello there. So, what of the old beggar Narfi? Is it done? Has he groveled for his last septum? Yes, it's true. He is dead as he slept. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. That's right. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Am I your Here's opponent? Payment. I'll murder you all the same. Okay. Uh, any more contracts? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. Okay, fine. I didn't even pay attention to how much he paid me for that. I imagine it was a worthy sum. 500 or so. Even 100 for a filthy cold beggar. Would be plenty. Nothing against beggars. But they could use their time in other ways, I suppose. One might argue. Brother? Uh... From another... Mother? Brother? Perhaps. Oh, you're not even who Represent I need to speak to well, anyway brother. about this contract. Miri, I need to go back to her. Markarth. Ah, night time again. Wonder if she will be easy to find in no the evening. Just drink, eh? Hey? There you are. Imagine finding you that easily. Well, what news? Is Elaine? Yeah, an ally's dead. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. Yes, indeed. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this as payment and a symbol of my affection. Oh. I'll never forget you. Oh. Well, you're quite welcome. Fantastic. Um, hmm. I'm a bit taken aback by that affection comment. Why? That's a bit creepy, isn't it? I fired you to murder my ex-lover, and uh, now I find that I must rain down affections upon you for doing it. Weird. Not my sort, Mary. Just to let you know. Alright, well. This person always in their house? Songs are just old memories that help the me go down. What can an old skull do for you, huh? Uh, I sort of know what a skull is because I was around the skull village, right? That's about the truth of it. Write tales about the sights I've seen, the battles I've fought. Earned quite a name for myself when I was younger. The Bard's College still teaches some of my work to their students. Oh wow, impressive. That's amazing. Good fighting to you. In the name of the Yard, I'm ordering you to stand fast. Bye.
Oh, back again. So soon. Astrid, how are you? Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? I did it wrong. A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? No, it was almost exactly the same. Two people just to kill. Uh, the Dwemer ruin was interesting, but aside from that, it was, uh, nothing... Nothing amazing. I did what had to be done. Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Oh, now, good. I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. Hmm. Okay. Uh, things always are more complicated when they get personal. It's Cicero. Aha. Uh -huh. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been, well, erratic would be an understatement. Okay. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's, it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone. Okay. In hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. You literally said he's mad, and then you're worried about him talking to himself? Are you being a bit uh, paranoid? Maybe so. But healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before. Okay. And my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. Well, she took that comment rather well, I would say. Nice. Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. You underestimate my powers? You need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like... Inside the Night Mother's coffin. Oh. Coffin is perfect. They'll never think to check it. Who in their right mind would hide inside? That's right. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. If ever in doubt, send a madman to, uh, spy on the madman. Makes the, uh, the best amount of sense. Uh, who would conspire with him, though? Isn't everyone here untrustworthy? That's the real question, isn't it? The jester enters, seals the door, and the conversation begins. So someone must be waiting for him inside. Have you ever heard Any the other one, one say anything? Any one of us could enter that chamber silently, unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? You just said the I couldn't sneak in unnoticed. Heart. That they would certainly see me. So now you're saying that anyone could do it? Strange. Isn't it obvious? As the Night Mother's keeper, he believes he's entitled to rule of this sanctuary. Hmm. Cicero will cite our independence as the need to revert to the old ways. He'll claim we're undisciplined, unruly, heretical even. So you didn't believe him when he Ironically, said you were the leader? the Night Mother could prove to be just as much a victim. The queen in a fool's twisted game of chess. And uh, anything else? I don't believe so. But I'll be able to instruct you further after you've returned from the chamber. It depends on what you learn. And make well. haste. You must be in place before Cicero and his... ally arrive. They could be planning another meeting any time. Yeah, okay. Go, quickly. Hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. If you're... If you're certain, I suppose I will. First, though, let's go see if Nazir has anything. Well, let's talk to him first. Arn Bjorn. Family now, Hamshank. I trust you. You trust me. Got it? Okay. Uh, if we are being so trusting of each other, I'll share this with you. She said that. If I find anyone working against my wife or the sanctuary, I'll beat them to death with their own severed head. Of course, they'd probably already be dead. I'm glad you realized that. You know that. what I mean. That's right. Yes. I, I get your point. Uh, what are your thoughts? The witless fool and his pet corpse. Take a guess. Okay. I might ask the same of you, for you are more than mortal. You are moonborn. You are wolf. Oh, you know that. So, you're a companion then. I can't imagine you got your gift anywhere else. I hope you have better luck with them than I did. Oh yes, I was once brother to the companions. Let's just say they found my methods unsettling. The Dark Brotherhood, obviously, feels differently. Hmm. 
Very interesting. Stay safe. Insightful as well. And yes, you, brother. Ah, uh, let's not share with everyone. Well and often. Okay. Bloody brilliant idea. When one can divine the future, success may not be assured, but it can at least be anticipated. It helps that I've already foretold my own death. Okay. Hmm? It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. You could kill someone just Can't wait to hear all about the next person you murder. Okay. Brother. You remind me of someone. I heard about what happened. Need something? You're referring to that blacksmith contract? Kill well, and often. I'm just trying to imagine you hiding inside the body of a mammoth. Sithis whisper brilliant you, idea. In truth, it was so easy. I feel a bit guilty. Once again, the sweet innocent child earned more trust than was wise. Sneaky. Are you always in here? here? Eating? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? You don't even have a contract for me. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? You must stand behind me. I think not. Still no nothing? I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. Fine. Trying to intimidate me by standing behind me? Who knows? Let's get to the chamber then. Get inside. And uh, see what's happening. I'm sure it's up here somewhere. Not here. Aha. This is certainly it. Uh, look around a bit. Yes. Let us away. According to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you. have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Hmm. Such a humble servant. What? But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. I see. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallenrode. 
Bullet. Okay. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Well, Dead Cicero, the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. Okay. I suppose I what? will then. What treachery? That's right. Defiler. Yes. Debaser and defiler. That's correct. You have violated the sanctity of the night mother's coffin. Well, kind of. She liked it. Okay. Speak, worm. Worm. Uh, she said, "I am the listener." She be jealous. Spoke to you. That's right. More treachery, more trickery and deceit. You lie. The night mother speaks only to the listener. Now connect the dots. And there is no listener. Okay. She. She said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. That's correct. But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. A signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> That's correct. Yep. Nicely done. My Sithis, this ends now. Okay. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. No, no, it's Are fine. You all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the night mother. I spoke to the night mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. That's right. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you alright? Well, uh, a little bit weirded out, but uh, yeah, fine. Then what in Sithis name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you? Is this just more of the fool's rambling? Uh, no. It's... it's true. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just... the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. Correct. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? Uh, yeah. Have to go to Volenrude. Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. Okay. Volenrude. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Uh, fine. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Mm -hmm. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you. But I am still the leader of this family. Okay. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. Well, I did ask your I need uh, time to think about all blessing this. for it. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Uh, nope. I'll probably go behind your back and go to Volenrude anyway. Because uh, supernatural dead people speaking to me is probably... A bit more um, pressing, a bit more important than you just having a control fetish. 
at least to my mind. Still here. What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? You really think that? Well then, your timing couldn't be better. Okay. As it turns Lucky out, me. I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Wonderful. I'm ready. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Okay. Happy hunting. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, tell me more. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. <laughs> That's Apparently, no crime. so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. I see. Okay. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The Hurt contract and is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis's sake, watch yourself. Watch myself, huh? Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. That's sort of my life ambition. Really do remind me of someone. From the college? What was her name? Experimented on me and turned me all green? Transformed me into something else? I can't remember. Please, not Yes, now. yes, yes. You'll know when I'm ready to discuss this. Oh, my authority's been questioned. I just can't bear to talk to anyone right now. I'm going to have to think about it. Gross. What? Really? There's two dragons flying around and there's bandits here trying to attack me? Not sure that's the best use of your time. Really? Are you really going to attack me? And to you. Come on, dragon. Well, it's no use. while since I rode uh, a dragon. We're going to kill your friend, by the way. This one that's uh, flying around. Cool. If I can figure out how to do it. Where are we? Oh. Flying yourself. I can't, uh, I can't play. Wow. That was an interesting maneuver. Not sure I approve. have to potion up here. That'll do. Aha! Uh -huh. Where'd he go? Aha! Uh -huh. Get closer. how long this is going to take. Ah, it's really difficult to aim while you're floating around like this.
Oh. It was a good time, but I was trying to uh, shout at him. It didn't work out. Oh, well, hit him a couple of times. Good job. Now kill him. Nope. Don't take off. You're just going to fly in circles. Yes, he's dead. Land. Land, please. I'd like to get off. Yes, Lori. What gold? I will land at once. Good. No, we were already landed. Why are you... Yes, Lori. Why are you up again? Land, please. As you command, Muda what gold. There. Good. Now, oh, let me down. Well done. Did a wonderful job. Oh, Spriggan. She hurt. Quite a lot, actually. Ah, oh, poor fox. Got in the way. Did I even get the uh, soul from this one? Not sure that I did. Aha! Here we are. Marvelous. Where was that little pool with like the three Nern root or whatever it was? I'm sure, it was at least three. Little cabin right next to it. No, it's not down there. Some kind of a necromancer, probably, down there. Oh, now I feel a bit lost. That was quite the exciting ride, though. Is it? This is not it. Actually, there is an urn root here, but this is not the one that I was at before. Hello? Who? Oh. Dragon, you were my friend a moment ago. Now you want to uh, attack me? Not 
sure I agree with your strategy. Now you're gone. Good riddance. Is this it? It is. This is it. Yes, it is at least three nerd root. Marbles. Nothing? Sure, I'll take those. Alchemist journal, eh? Hey? Uh huh. Enhanced growth in the area? Mushrooms, I see. Known route. Well, I have destroyed the ecosystem downstream since I plucked all of the known route from here. Should be fine though. So we're headed sort of northeast. Turns out Hearn is quite close. Quite close to the sanctuary. Not sure if he's here at this mill though. Half Moon Mill. Perhaps he is. Or perhaps not. I'm sure, he's somewhere near here. I will find him and murder him soon enough. Can't hide forever. <laughs> 